ओके सो टॉपिक फॉर द डे इज प्रोक्सी आर्प प्रोक्सी आर्प गाइज दिस इज यूजर डिमांड वीडियो वन ऑफ माई सब्सक्राइबर हैज रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू मेक वन वीडियो ऑन प्रोक्सी आर्प लाइक वाई वी कम ऑफ इथ प्रोक्सी आर्प वेयर वी नीड टू इनेबल प्रोक्सी आर्प and what is proxy arp so we will discuss each and everything about proxy arp in this video after watching this video you will you will not have any dot in proxy arp it's my promise so request is please watch this video till the end okay without wasting our time let's begin topic is proxy arp so first of all what is arp what is arp arp stand for address regulation protocol arp stand for address regulation protocol arp is a protocol which is used to resolve mac address from ip address suppose we have two computer this is pc one and pc two both are connected mac address of this machine is a mac address of this machine is b suppose ip address of this machine is 10.0.0.1 slash 8 and ip address of this machine is 10.0.0.2 slash 8 so when i will ping 10.2 from pc1 ping 10.2 from pc1 and icmp request will be generated at layer 3 right after that layer 3 will hand over to layer 2 now layer 2 will add source mac and destination mac source mac will be what a and destination mac will be what so this machine will look up their arp table right in their arp table there will be entry that mac address of 10.0.0.2 is b but if this machine will not found any entry in arp table right what this machine will do this machine will generate one arp request a rp request so arp request will be generated to find destination mac address from destination ip address in arp request target ip address will be what 10.0.0.2 right so what is the use of arp arp is used to resolve mac address from ip address right first of all device will look up their arp table to find destination mac address if device will not found mac address in arp table then device will generate arp request right and as you know when my destination is present in same network right if my destination is present in same network then device will generate arp request for destination ip address but if my destination is present in different network then device will generate arp for default gateway is it clear to everyone as you know when a host communicates with another host on the same network the target ip address for arp request is another host ip address but if a host communicates with another host on a different network the target ip for arp request is ip address of default gateway means suppose i have a network this is my switch this is router and this is one server this is one server here are some user suppose ip address of this machine is 10.0.0.1 10.0.0.2 and this machine ip ip address of this machine is support 20.1 when 10.1 wants to communicate with 10.2 right so this machine will generate arp request and target ip address will be 10.2 but when this host wants to communicate with this server right in that scenario if this machine will generate arp request so target ip address will be ip address of default gateway right so if a host wants to communicate with another host another host which present in same network then only device will generate generate arp for the destination ip address directly otherwise if destination is present in different network then host will generate arp request for default gateway hope it is clear to everyone now when proxy arp occur first of all when proxy arp occur so guys let me type here proxy arp occurs when when one host one host or you can say one node 
is responding responding to an arp request to an arp request on behalf of behalf of another node another node right means when a device will generate arp reply right for the another host that time proxy arp will occur okay just wait guys what is the main purpose why to come up with a uh, proxy arp is the original thought process for proxy arp is for proxy arp was for proxy warp as was to accom accommodate hosts with misconfigured subnet mask subnet mask so if network engineer will configure wrong subnet mask in that scenario we need proxy arp for that purpose only we come up with scenario only we come up with proxy arp right if network engineer will configure wrong subnet mask suppose in this topology in this topology as you can see over here here i am running ip address 10.1.1.1/24 and here i have to i, I should configure 10.1.1.2/24 but by mistake i have configured 10.1.1.2/8 means submit mask is 255.0.0.0 by mistake if i will configure wrong subnet mask on pc2 in that scenario we need in this scenario we need proxy arp here right on this interface i have to enable proxy arp otherwise this device can't communicate with this server why why guys here you can see slash value is 24 slash value is 24 host one compare its ip address and subnet mask to the ip address of server right and decide that the server is in another subnet or in same subnet right first of all this device will calculate this device will compare server ip address and their own ip address and this device will decide that this machine is present the server is present in same network or in different network right if this server is present in same network then i will generate r for this server directly but if this server is present in different network then i have to generate arp request for default gateway right not for this server directly right so how this device will came to know that the server belongs to same network or different network so the tool which we have that tool will tells to my device to the host that server belongs to same network or in different network is known as subnet mask is known as subnet mask this is the tool which will tells to this machine that server will be server is belongs to same network or in different network so what this machine will do this machine will first calculate their on network id so what will be the network id of this ip address 10.1.1.0 right because here you can see slash value is 24 and destination ip address is what 10. 2.2.100 so destination network is 10.2.2.0 according to pc1 this is network id of server because pc1 is comparing with slash 24 right slash 24 so 24 bits are network bits here right but let me talk about pc2 when pc2 wants to communicate with this server so network id of pc2 will be what 10.0.0.0 because here i am using slash 20 slash 8 right so what will be the network id of server ip address of server is 10.2.2.100 so network id will be 
नेटवर्क बिट्स आर एट बिट्स ओनली सो नेटवर्क आई डी इज टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो सो अकॉर्डिंग टू पी सी टू सर्वर एंड दिस होस्ट पी सी टू बिलोंग्स टू सेम नेटवर्क एम आई राइट अकॉर्डिंग टू पी सी टू बोथ आर इन सेम नेटवर्क सो दिस मशीन विल जनरेट आर रिक्वेस्ट फॉर सर्वर डायरेक्टली दिस मशीन दिस पी सी पी सी टू विल नॉट जनरेट आर रिक्वेस्ट फॉर डिफॉल्ट गेट वे बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू पी सी टू दर्वर बिलोंग्स टू सेम नेटवर्क एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू पी सी वन सर्वर बिलोंग्स टू डिफरेंट नेटवर्क सो इफ यू विल कन्फिगर रॉन्ग सबनेट मास्क ऑन अ होस्ट वी नीड दैट सीनारियो वी नीड प्रोक्सी आर्प हेयर वी हैव टू कन्फिगर proxy arp and what is proxy arp proxy arp means a device is responding to arp request right when this machine will generate arp request for server so this router will response instant of responding server right router will share their own mac address instant of mac address of server right so this is proxy that's why we call it proxy arp right so if i will disable proxy arp on this interface then this machine can't communicate with server right proxy arp means this router will generate reply so first first step will be what this machine will generate arp request arp request right source will be mac address of this machine and destination will be all f destination will be all f and source will be mac address of this machine right and target ip address will be what 10.2.2.100 when router will receive this request right now router can't forward this request in this domain because router divide broadcast domain this is different broadcast domain and this one is different broadcast domain and arp is an broadcast message so it will never cross broadcast domain right so router will not forward this broadcast message in this domain but there is proxy arp enabled on this interface so what this router will do this router will generate arp reply and they will tell to host to that mac address of 10.2.2.100 is whatever mac address of this router is right so this router will send their own mac address instead of mac address of 10.2.2.100 mac address of server so this is called proxy arp because router router don't need Ro by default router will not send their own mac address instead of mac address of server right but if you will configure enabled proxy arp on this interface then router will send their own mac address instead of server mac address and this is known as proxy arp fine this is known as proxy arp so in this topology you can see over here here i am running this network this ip address here i am running this ip address and on server i am running 10.2.2.0 and by default proxy arp is enabled on all interface command to check is very simple so ip proxy sorry so ip interface fast ethernet 0/0 here you can see guys proxy arp is enabled so by default proxy arp is enabled let me disable proxy arp first how to disable go to interface f0/0 and type no ip proxy arp right this is command to disable proxy arp and let me show you first of all let me open simulation mode so that i can show you packet as well and let me ping let me ping 10.2.2.100 this is ip address of server so this is icmp traffic let me just wait guys let me clear arp table ip address of this machine is 10.1.1.1/24 and default gateway is 10.1.1.10 10 let me check so ip interface brief exclude and assign so yes 10.10 .10 is my default gateway and 
also R A R P S A. There is no any entry. Now let me ping server. Ping ten dot two dot two dot one hundred. So see, this is my R packet. And guys, see destination IP address is ten dot one dot one dot ten means default gateway. So PC one is generating R request for default gateway. But let me show you. Let me ping server from PC two as well ten dot two dot two dot one hundred. So see, this is R request of PC two. And see the destination IP is ten dot two dot two dot one hundred. That means PC two is generating R for Destination IP address and PC one is generating R four default gateway, right? Right? Because according to PC one, destination is in different network, but according to PC two, destination is in same network. So here we need proxy R. Otherwise, PC two can't communicate with server, right? Here you can see this machine is able to communicate with server. Yes, PC one, but PC two is not able to communicate with server. Request timeout. Request timeout. Request timeout. And request timeout. Right. So this PC is not able to communicate with server because now router is not responding there. Router is not sending there on MAC address instead of this MAC address, right? Because proxy ARP is disabled on this interface. Now let me enable proxy ARP. Let me enable proxy ARP here. Go to configure terminal interface F zero slash zero IP proxy ARP. This is command to enable proxy ARP. Now if I will ping, now you can see I am able to ping. So if you will configure wrong subnet mask in that scenario, we need proxy ARP. Okay. So this is the main thought to come up with proxy ARP. Why we come up with proxy ARP? Okay, for misconfiguration of subnet mask. Now, how proxy ARP works in static routing, right? So guys, in static routing, see, suppose this is my router one, and this is router two. Here is switch, switch, and here are some user. Suppose IP address of this user is 10.0.0.1. IP address of this user is 10.0.0.2. This is my F0/0, F0/1. Okay, so by default 10.1 can't communicate with 10.2. We need routing here, right? We need routing. So if you will configure a static routing using exit interface. Using exit interface, so here you will run this command: ip root. Sorry, twenty. This one is twenty. Twenty dot zero dot zero dot zero. Submit mask two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero. And exit interface is f zero slash zero. So how R one will make entry in their routing table? R one will make entry in their routing table like this: twenty dot zero dot zero dot zero is directly connected to Fast Ethernet zero slash zero, fast Ethernet zero slash zero. So what router one will think that this network is directly connected on my F zero slash zero? But is it right, guys? No, it's wrong. Twenty network is connected through R two. So whenever router one have to find MAC address of twenty dot two, MAC address of twenty dot two, what R one will do? R one will directly generate R request for twenty dot. Two and ARP request will not move in different broadcast domain. So ARP request will reach to router two, and router can't forward that broadcast domain in this domain because this is different broadcast domain. This one is different broadcast domain, right? So here we you have to enable proxy ARP so that R two will send their own MAC address instead of MAC address of twenty dot two, right? So in A static routing. If you will configure a static routing with exit interface, you have to enable proxy ARP. Otherwise, host can't communicate with other host who is sitting in different network. Okay, so this is proxy ARP, guys. Why we come up with proxy ARP for misconfiguration of subnet mask only, right? 
misconfiguration of subnet mask so that's all for today if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel pm networking we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe guys bye bye